Hey everyone, Chris from In Unison here. Today we're gonna to be turning your body into a drum set. Yep, that's right, let's go. All right, so let me explain. Your body isn't just for dancing, pumping iron, or taking selfies. You can use it as an instrument and get a pretty good sound out of it too. For example, you can clap, snap, pat your chest, pat your thighs, tap your cheeks, even click your tongue, just to name a few. It's called body percussion, and it's a great way to work on your rhythm skills and get creative. By the end of today's video, we're gonna be using the six sounds that I mentioned above to create a cool four bar rhythmic pattern. First things first, you wanna to get to know the quality of your sounds, also known as the timbre. It just means that a clap has a different quality of sound than a snap or a pat for that matter. What this is gonna do is it's gonna help you organize your sounds more strategically so you can emphasize or accent certain beats more than others. Let's take a look at our first three sounds. First is our chest pat. Now this is kind of a dull, bassy, hollow sound like the kick drum on a drum set. Next is our hand clap. This is a cracking, popping sound, kind of like a snare drum. Then there's our finger snap, which is a thin, sharp sound, kind of like a hi-hat. All right, we're gonna get started now. Since we're not working with pitched instruments like guitar, piano, or saxophone, we're gonna be using a percussion clef. Now let's start with a simple rhythm in 4-4 time at 80 beats per minute and get to know our sounds. In this example, we have two bars of chest pats, two bars of hand claps, and two bars of finger snaps, all of them quarter notes. Let's do another one that looks like this. Four chest, four claps, four snaps. Try to play along too. Now let's do one with all eighth notes, like this. Now let's alternate chest, clap, chest, clap. Let's keep the clap on beats two and four, but let's change the chest rhythm up. Cool, you're starting to sound like a drummer. Let's change the chest rhythm up again. Okay, so we've run out of hands for this next example. So this is a perfect time to get into a group of three. When you're ready, let's take a look at what the finger snaps are gonna do. All right, so with the chest and the clap staying the same, the snaps are gonna get busy with some 16th notes. Uh-oh, more 16th notes. Try not to start a fire. Okay, now we're entering the danger zone. Chest people are really gonna have to keep strong time with this next one. Snaps, you're back to eighth notes. Chest is really getting a workout today. Let's take a look at this next example. Lots of syncopation.
we're going to introduce a grace note for the claps on beats two and four. It's a quieter clap followed by a louder primary clap. Two notes are played almost simultaneously and are intended to sound like one single broader note. In percussion vocabulary, this is called a flam. Check it out. All right, we're gonna change things up again for the chest people. Instead of adding more notes, we're gonna take some away. Don't be fooled, more space doesn't necessarily mean easier. Still with me? Good, cause we're rolling now. Let's expand our sounds to include leg pads. The rhythms I created here involve 30 second note rolls. If this is too tough for you, try collaborating with your friends to come up with something that sounds cool. Gonna change chest rhythm up again. Don't worry, it's less complex, but still in the groove. Hand claps are continuing those solid accents on two and four. Finger snaps are switching to 16th notes. Leg pads are continuing the same rhythm from the last example. And now we're adding a new sound, a vocal sound, a tongue click. Ready? All right, we made it to the last example. Chest rhythm stays the same, claps stay the same, leg pads change to a consistent pattern, and tongue clicks change up as well. For our last sound, I chose another vocal sound. It's a weird one, but a lot of fun. Let's check it out. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up and click subscribe for more music and guitar education related content. See you soon.